Guys, what's up? Thank you very much for joining me in this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mike and I want to welcome you to the channel. This channel covers specific things every single day. The one thing that we do every single day is that we do a pre-market coverage of the all the news that we have to uh, that we should know before the market opens. So that video comes out every day around 5, 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, New York. Uh, after that, during the day, there's various videos that I do, but whether something is a buy or not, or news on something that's you know major that came out, like this video that I'm gonna do right now, which is about a stock that was a buy three times, uh, went up three times. It is a buy. It's yeah, it's it's pretty cool. This is a great video that you're gonna see, and um, and then we also do crypto videos uh, once in a while, right? So I understand it's IPO market watch is what it's called, but basically we cover all the stocks, we cover all the IPOs. I do cryptos once in a while, not too often, once in a while, and then the pre-market coverages and all that stuff. So consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Everybody, please hit that like button. It is the best, best, greatest. I mean, if you really want to help me, hit the like button. If you want to help. If you don't want to help me, that's okay. <laughs> it's no big deal. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about a company that I first talked about here on youtube not on my patreon because sometimes you know like i always say well i talked about this on my patreon you know and then in 2021 august 18 2021 this is a screenshot that you're looking at right so i took a screenshot of the video which still is public and you can watch it, it the the title was a 160 percent upside deep value stock so i pushed that on august 18 2021 did that stock go up 160 percent no not even close um, so, uh, but it was not a failure. It was not because you can see the price was six dollars and sixty-one cents. Three times after that video, three times up until 2022, early 2022, right? So uh, after that video was made, three times the stock surpassed the eight-dollar mark. It went to a thirty. I think it went to eight fifty-one. So I don't remember. And then again, eight. I mean, it did it three times. So it would go to eight something, and then for some months down. Then a few months up to eight. Then so there were three times you could have gone from six sixty one to eight plus, right? And still profits. In fact, I bought it then on August 18, thousand twenty one, and the first eight dollar mark, I was like, ah, no, I'm not getting out. You know, I'm expecting that one hundred sixty percent upside. Man, never came, went back down again. Finally, at the beginning of two thousand twenty two, I had enough and I sold it at eight dollars and something. I think it was sold. It was like I think it was eight twenty six or something or eight thirty fine profits there's no problem it was good profits so awesome but why am i talking about about this stock because let's get to it before i begin mumu is the proud sponsor of this video look it's tough times the market conditions are hard 10 free stocks worth up to three thousand bucks 10 free stocks we're talking about stocks that you're going to get like 20 bucks a share uh, one person told me they got 10 neo stocks right well at current price of 19 bucks that neo is 19 something that's nearly 200 bucks for free. So use my link in the comment section below. Sign up, start trading on Mumu, and get 10 free stocks. So Technichip FMC is today, right now as I'm doing the video, at $7.31, right? As I'm doing the video right now, $7.31, right? Last year it was $6.61. But like I said, the, during the time before this $7.31 you're seeing today, it hit $8 quite a few times. But here's the thing. Yesterday on my Patreon channel, and it was it says 2:06 p.m., but it, that was that's the U.S. time. Um, it was pre-market early, way, way, way early. It must have been like five o'clock in the morning uh, in New York time. Um, when I logged into my Patreon and I said my risky pre-market play, guys, you know I'm I'm gonna buy. Um, uh, well, it was sort of not risky at all because I said my risky pre-market play. I will try to buy Technichip, FMC, PLC, FTI is the ticker symbol. I had a good pre-market price. So I said that yesterday, right? I bought it at 635. So I entered at 636, 630, yeah, 635 or 633, I don't remember. It was, it was 630 something that I, pre-market hours I got in. So I said then that it, before I bought it, um, the earnings are good. Uh, the earnings are good today. All right. So there's two ways I said, okay, I'm pre-market, I'm getting in. And there's two options that I see for me that either the earnings will be good and I can sell higher or the earnings are going to be okay and nothing special and the stock goes nowhere but I do expect it months later to hit $8.32 let's say right so either way I feel that I'm going to win either immediately or by waiting some months maybe six months or something all right I just took another screenshot all right I paused the video 
uh, yeah, I, I just did some editing magic uh, and it just took another screenshot. It's at 7.33 right now. So 7.31 a few seconds ago, not at 7.33. I sold at 7.29, right? Um, so my point is that yesterday on my Patreon, I did tell them we got in, whoever got in at 6.30, we sold if we wanted, whoever sold, I sold at 7.29. So within one day, um, I bought 200 shares. That's nearly 200 bucks within one day. So let me think about it. Um, you know, you put them, you put your money the next day you got 200 bucks. You don't sweat nothing. It's perfect now the company if I got out Does that mean that the company is bad and that it won't have an opportunity to go any higher? Actually not I might have got out too early I might have got out too early, but even if the company is gonna go higher I had a certain goal my goal was to get out today, right? Um, but let's look at what this company is about because this actually might be an intriguing play It's been an amazing play for since last year it was a, a great play again. So let's look at this company real quick. All right, Tech and Chip FMC engages in the oil and gas projects, technologies, and systems and services businesses in Europe, Central Asia, North America, basically all over the world. The subsea segment engages in the design, engineering, procurement, manufacturing, fabrication, installation, and life of field services for subsea systems, subsea field infrastructure, and subsea pipe systems used in oil and gas production transportation. It provides subsea production and processing systems, subsea uh, umbilicals, uh, risers, flow liners. This segment also offers well and asset services, research, engineering, manufacturing, and supply chain. Now, if we go to their financials, in 2013 they had 9.7 billion. 2014 goes to 11 billion. 2015 again another rise to 11.4 billion. 2016 wasn't so good; it dropped 19% to 9.1. Then it went, then it goes up to 15 billion dollars, and after that it just keeps on going worse and worse every year. It went from 12.5 down, down, down to 6.4 billion in 2021. Right? So from 2018 to 2021, every year was a decrease in revenue. Right? Nothing spectacular really on the revenue side. Well, that's why the stock has been actually quite volatile. Going from six for a few months up to eight then back down six to eight. And it's been doing that since the, basically from 2021, even up until today. But that does make it also a good play, to be honest. Every time you hit six, six, twenty, six, thirty, um, if you have patience, this thing seems to be doing this very often, goes back, back up to eight. Now the analyst ratings, what do they give it? They actually give it a buy right now. In fact, Bank of America rated it yesterday a buy and gave it an $8, an $8 price target. So the low is $8.59 that they give it. And like I said, it's at $7.33 right now. The average is at $11.07 and the high is at $15.38. Now let's look at some recent news within the past two weeks. First of all, on July 27, the company announced a 400 million share repurchase authorization. Back on July 27, again, FMC Technologies has the earnings. They missed estimates, right? So they came out with a quarterly earnings of two cents per share, missing Zach's estimates of four cents. This company, this compares to a loss of six cents per share a year ago. Um, and the quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of negative 50%. Technichip FMC awarded significant contract by Total Energies for subsea 2.0. So in, in June of 16, June 16, 2022, they got a really good contract from Total Energies. Also on June 21st, they got a really big contract for subsea, a subsea contract again in Angola, uh, 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 in Africa. Then they get awarded an integrated feed contract by Equinor. Equinor is a, a Norwegian company for a project in Brazil, and that was on July 5th. They also got a contract on July 14th from Neptune. So the company keeps getting a ton of contracts within the past month. I mean, seriously, a lot of contracts, a lot of money. And I'm thinking to myself, all of this should show uh, in Q3, right? And so in the third quarter, it should show up. Exploration and production companies are generating record cash flows from operations and increasing capital expenditures. Technichip has a low valuation compared to other oil field service companies. Uh, their revenue and EPS are recovering, and consensus estimates call for a further growth. Think about it. Why wouldn't you call for further growth with all the contracts they just got? And all these contracts really didn't show up in their latest second quarter, right? On Friday, the on Friday the 15th of July, Bank of America upgraded FTI to $8 a share minimum. FTI price book and price cash flow are amongst the lowest in the in the sector. And also FTI's market leading position in subsea services highlights an improved balance sheet and calls out increased free cash flow. Also, the company has added to its backlog with new large contracts awarded 
by EPS, including Equinor, from international energy produce. Also, the company just recently, uh, also the company just recently announced huge backlog orders. They got new backlog orders from Equinor, Total Energies, Exxon Mobil, Petrobras from Brazil, right? And all this indicates a big recovery for this company. So, I hope I'm right that the stock will drop because if it doesn't drop and it keeps going higher and higher and higher, I'm gonna feel stupid that I sold today, right? I want it to fall back down to six dollars and fifty cents, six dollars and forty cents, six dollars and thirty cents. I'm getting back in and easy money again. That's just my opinion. At least up until getting close to Q3, I think uh, you know if it doesn't do real quick before Q3 it should go up again um, because they got really massive contracts. There's a lot of further growth that is being called out for this company, and I think that it's going to be easy money. Of course, in the stock market, nothing is easy money. So please don't take this as financial advice or, yeah, Mike said it's easy money, buy it. I'm not saying it's, you know you should buy this. I'm not you know, your financial advisor. And, I, and I, don't, I don't want to be anybody's financial advisor. That's, you know, that's dangerous. It's, you know, it's your money. You have to do your own homework, right? Uh, but do your own homework. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. One more thing I want to say about this company. Also, FTI is recovering revenue, EPS growth new contracts, increased backlog orders, right? All that should spell out for a really good third quarter. And like I said, the Bank of America, the upgrade, but okay, forget the upgrade. Who cares about the upgrade from Bank of America? The orders are the most important part, the backlog of orders, the new ones that came out for June, July, all these orders that we mentioned and the new backlog of orders. I don't know. I think Q3 is going to be awesome. And so hopefully uh, the stock drops back down so I can buy it again. And then again, easy money, right? Again, when I say easy money, I mean for me. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button as it really, really helps me. I wish you all the best. Take care.